2,000 Palestinians demonstrated in Gaza in a show of support for Saddam Hussein. Rally organizers also handed out checks sent by the Iraqi leader. Families of 36 Palestinians killed in clashes with the Israeli army reportedly received $10,000 each. Hamas led the rally with supporters carrying pictures of Saddam and vowing to back him if the United States takes military action against Iraq. The spiritual leader of the Islamic militant group made a rare public appearance. Sheikh Ahmad Yassin said the Palestinian people stood with Iraq in the face of the American offensive. Yassin also condemned U.S. support for Israel, where Hamas has been responsible for dozens of suicide bombings. But while Hamas threatened future violence, in Ramallah, Yasser Arafat's Fatah movement announced it opposed attacks on Israeli civilians in Israel. However, in a written statement, Fatah left open the possibility of continued attacks on Israelis in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, claiming it would continue to resist Israel's occupation of the West Bank and Gaza. Meanwhile, during a visit to Jordan, Iraq's vice president called on all Arabs to confront the U.S., its people, and its property by any means. Taha Yassin Ramadan's remarks, made after talks with King Abdullah, fell short of calling on Arabs to attack Americans in so many words. But they did underline Iraq's determination to sway world opinion in its current tussle with the United States.